Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. Let us have some good time together. Now, you know, I did not schedule my broadcast. This is why we don't have too many people yet. But it doesn't matter really. People, they will download the video and they will share it. And don't forget to download the video as soon we finish. And it's ready to download. Because as you know, we don't keep our videos in my channel. Today our topic is about the Big Bang. Uh, but before we talk, you know, uh, the person who will speak in the video, his name is Mimi Hijab. And Mimi Hijab, uh, I do not need to introduce him to you. He is a person who have no decency. If you remember, this guy is the one who claimed that he want to debate me. And then when I called him, he started playing a uh, recording of me. And he cut my recording to make it look... Uh, he think he can make it look bad so from before we start talking we need to remember that people who have no decency they are not qualified even to be called debaters if you remember the first thing he asked me actually wouldn't you know would not debate he hang up on me more than seven times he said did you say this and what i said let us hear carefully i said to a muslim woman suckle me i was quoting his prophet but he cut the video because he have not even one gram of decency in all his the size of him not even a gram this is the video he cut from he did the black stone who created the black stone jesus jesus no don't jesus don't create the stones he created the whole world but you must no, you must have kiss his stones right why why your prophet kissed the black stone did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs? You must be okay. He's a see, God. see, this filthy coward. He could not dare to debate me. So he cut this part of the video, where this Muslim woman, his sister, her name is Mimi Hijab too. And she is saying that Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. This coward he used after this part. So he tried to smear a person. They are bully, you know, this is the bully religion. And this is a bully man. Guys, you see guys, you see guys, you see how, you see how savage they are. Look what she said. Oh, no. Look what she said. Not, Look what she said. Like you. Okay, show me. That show that me. Jesus okay, show me a verse. Show a me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he played that with his mother. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he played. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus, he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You're, you, listen, you are a liar, number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Like okay. This is the part he played. From all this, he prayed where I said, can I suckle you? <laughs> so here you notice that we are speaking to the devil himself. They have no decency. Those are from the street. Those are the kids of the streets. Those even that don't present the Muslims. This is the... This is the lowest. This is the bully. So he cut the whole video and then he made a video that says a Christian prince sexual predator. You see how filthy he is? So this person now is the same person, if you remember too, when he debated uh, David Wood. David Wood asked him about uh, Allah have body parts. Mimi Hijab said to him, who said so? Who said so? When we have tons of reference, his prophet says so, the scholar says so, even his girlfriend Fifi said so. Would take me two seconds to go and find the video of Fifi. I'm just giving you an introduction before we start. Because in order to listen to somebody, 
first we have to have little respect to this person to, to consider what he say something real This is the video. This video is not made by me. This is Shia. Uh, Shia, they uh, they they have an uh, uh, they have a video of uh, Fifi, and Fifi was saying in the video, Allah have hands. But Mimi Hijab, he said to David Wood, who said so? So in order to and he start making doing the same thing. He is a bully. He start doing the bully business with David Wood and the Muslims start laughing at David Wood and supposedly that make him a winner of a debate but behind the doors all the Muslim they knew that this guy is a fraud he is lying about his religion he's lying in everything he say and listen to Fifi our sister Fifi who don't dare to call me the same as sister Mimi who don't dare to speak to me listen to him he says you cannot call of kuffar he was debating a sheikh saying to him a shia a sheikh saying to him you cannot call us kuffar which means non-believers for believing in what the quran is saying that allah have hands <laughs> let us skip the the drama the muslim drama with beating themselves like this one all right about about what the jews said about the hands of allah the hand of allah is chained chained are their hands and cursed mm -hmm. Are they for what they say? Rather, both his hands are extended. Okay. Now, what's interesting about this, um, we were speaking about metaphorical versus, um, you know, um, apparent or uh, um, what, what was the word? Or literal. Now, the term, uh, Again, what do what do the Jews say? They say the hand of Allah. All right, the hand Allahu of Akbar. Allah. Specifically, they say the hand of Allah. Look, the other Muslim get excited. They said Allahu Akbar. He said the hand of Allah. He said Allahu Akbar. So now Fifi is convincing the the Shia that Allah has hands. The whole argument is about Allah has hands. But the coward Fifi, who is the boyfriend of Mimi, he don't dare to make a video saying to Mimi hijab. Well, as long as his name is Fifi, respond. How come this potato he don't respond to what 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 hijab said? That Allah have hands. So he have the guts to respond to a Shia, saying Allah have hands, but he have no guts to say Mimi hijab, you are a fraud, and yes, Allah have hands. Is chained. Allah responds, no, no. Both his hands are extended. Subhan. Both, both. What does look this guy in the corner here when he shake his head and say subhanallah this is a Muslim Sunni he is the friend of Fifi look how he says subhanallah look look how when he hear that Allah have hands he gets so excited huh and subhanallah aha uh -huh. so how come none of you says to Mimi hijab you coward liar lying about our God saying Allah have no hands now subhanallah Specifically, they say the hand of Allah is chained. Allah responds, no, both his hands are extended. Both, both, both. What does both. this mean? Now, here's the issue, Yashie. If you don't want to accept this, that's fine. If you don't want to accept this, that, that, you know, that Allah has two hands, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's completely fine. But I'm saying you can't accuse us of shirk. <laughs> you can't accuse us of shirk. For... I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not saying it's fine. No, sorry, sorry. I'm not saying fine because you, you don't dare to say it's fine. You say he's, he's stupid. He said it's fine, but you cannot say that. You know, the second you say it's fine, that's mean it's fine. So this guy is saying clearly, Allah have hands. Mimi hijab say Allah. Uh, uh, Allah had body part. Who said so? So the person who is going to explain to you the verse about the Big Bang, he have no dignity, zero. He, they try to smear people, they try to bully people, but you cannot bully us. You have no idea. People are laughing at you because of what you did.
Now, if we go to the video of Mimi Hijab, and the donation is doing great. Look, he is getting, man, I mean, it's, what happened? This guy was skinny. <laughs> so now Mimi Hijab is explain, explain to you what the verse about the Big Bang in the Quran is saying. So now he's arguing, you know, if you watch the whole video, you would understand that you cannot understand anything from the Quran. This is the whole point of the video. I'm not kidding. The whole point of this video is, it is that we do not know what the Quran is saying. This is a stupid book. I'm not saying that. Mimi is saying that. Listen carefully. And obviously also the Arabic language, uh, Ratq and Fatq literally just means Ratq for something to be together and Fatq for, the, for them to be separated. Uh, no, let me, let me do Fatq for you. You are a liar and a potato again. You don't speak good Arabic or you are lying. Because Ratq is for something is swined together, not something was together. There's a huge difference. The word rotok is when you do swine to fabric together. This is rotok. So never take what those people they say to you for they lie. And this is the Islamic dictionary. Al Ma'ani. This is the word rotok. It's mean what? Let us see. They join or attach by swing. By what? Attach holes in the piece of a cloth. By what? By, by a swing. So, this is what the verse is saying. That the earth and the heaven, they used to be swing together. And then we did fatuq. Fatuq is not only we separated them. Fatuq is the opposite of swing. You hold the two fabric and you force out separation, which means you cut all the, the, uh, the thread which was used to swing them together. So from the first second he started talking, after using big words, mean nothing, he just starts saying things is not true in the Quran. And as you see, we are showing you from the Islamic dictionary, and I'm going to post the link. Actually, you can go, you can you can do yourself that. This is a website called almaani.com. Al and you can copy the word from the Quran as it is, even if you don't speak, I mean, uh, you can use uh, 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 what uh, the website. Uh, there is a website you click in the word to show you which word we are talking about. I forgot which one. So you can copy the word like here now. All right. This is a chapter 21, verse number 30. And this is the word Rutqan. Rutqan. And this is, we copy it and we put it here. We put it in the dictionary. Take it, paste it, and then click find it. All right, very easy. So simply, the root is to join things together by swing, by sewing the things together. Uh, and then Mimi, I want to give him a chance to say what he want to say a little bit. I apologize. We wish we can play the whole video, but I, you know, they will, they will, uh, they will, they will cry for copyright. Uh, so, what made me want to say? Listen carefully. However, when you look at what these exegetes say, they do actually um, expound on different types of meaning. So, for example, yes, it does say that the heavens and the earth were together, and then we cleft them asunder, or whatever way, separated them, or whatever way you want to translate it. But they also say that this could mean that this is when the uh, the sama or the skies started to rain. And <laughs> look how they jump from far from 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 far left to the far right. From the earth and the heaven used to be together, and now the rain. What rain? What do, what's about the rain? How the how in the world the rain have to do with this? 
Here you will see that Mimi Hijab is leading you to a conclusion that this verse have no meaning. We do not know what this verse means. Simply, this is a stupid verse. So yes, it says they were together. Yes, it says we separate them. Yes, it says that, but there is another opinion says this is mean there are rain. Mm -hmm. When the uh, grounds started to produce vegetation, this is another exegesis. Uh -huh. So the earth and the heaven they used to be together, and that and we separate them. That's mean the ground used to uh, start to have vegetation. <laughs> Any connection? Anyone can tell me what this guy is talking about. <laughs> That is of the same verse, and many of the Salaf and many of those medieval commentators took this as the as the primary meaning. In fact, and that is mm -hmm. who are they? Those who they took this uh, meaning as the primer? Where, where? You know, can you show us? This is the what they, what they took. Like who? Let us go and see the interpretation of the verse, so we can love together. Let us take Ibn Kathir, the favorite scholar for Mimi. Let us close this page and let us go to the Quran. Again, chapter 21, remember that, verse number 30. 21, 30. And again, this is the false translation of Ibn Kathir. Because remember, Ibn Kathir in Arabic is different from Ibn Kathir in English. Totally different. But let us see and go with it. All right. <clears throat> let us see where is the verse will come. Uh, what happened? Did we skip? I think we skipped something 21 30 didn't i choose 30 yeah so what happened oh from the beginning okay have those who disbelieve known that the heaven and the earth were joined together as one united piece then we parted them and we have made from the water every living thing Okay. Interpretation means those who deny his divine and, uh, nature and worship other instead of him do not they realize, realize that Allah is the one who independent on his power and creation running the affair of all things with absolute power mm -hmm. were well, where is where is the interpretation? This is the interpretation. There's no interpretation. And then he continue. So how can it be appreciate uh, to appreciate uh, it be appreciate to worship anything else beside him or associate other worship with him? Do they not see that the heaven and the earth were joined together? i.e. in the beginning they were all one piece but isn't it this statement is stupid because the earth is still not separated from the heaven we are just little tiny dust inside the heaven so when the quran says we are separated we are not if you want to mean the atmosphere that would be silly it's like saying that having a, 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 an onion in the box because the onion have a uh, let us say uh, 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 a skin that make it separated that's not separation we are inside the space we are a little tiny piece of dust we are not even a dust compared to the massive size of the space and if we go to the verse in the Quran you will see many mistakes in there and you will see something very important that everybody, every naive person who read, including those who claim to be defending Islam, they are very naive and they are very silly. The verse in the beginning says, have not those who disbelieve 
known so it is something we know in the time of Muhammad not something happened as some some scientists they say billions of years ago see Muhammad talking to who talking to people his uncle and people around him who refused to believe in Islam and actually the verse doesn't even say has not those who believe known it says don't they see So how this is can be the Big Bang? Is the Big Bang something we see? If you change the translator, and this is something always you need to remember, Muslim translation is a fraud. Not a single one translation is decent. This guy is saying again, don't who disbelieve known where it says the word known the word the first word in Arabic here awalam yara don't they see it is something we see it is something we witness not something we know there's the huge difference between something I know and something I witness because I can say I know that Jesus was exist 2000 years ago but I did not see there's a huge difference between I know and I see change the translator let us see if we can get lucky uh, this is Sahih International ah, this guy he changed the, the scam he says not considered what consider where it says that the word C suddenly became considered. Change the translator again. Uh, Karai. I don't know who is this guy, Karai. Have the faithlet not regarded? Not regarded? So the word, the, the, can they see, became regarded. It's a miraculous translation. Every one of them, he have a new fraud Quran. Because this is a fraud, by the way. When you see a massive change in the meaning, obviously it is a fraud so let us go and see different translation we are we are trying our luck uh itani let us see itani ah finally one decent abdul he translated the verse as it is do the disbelievers not see not see do you see it that the heavens and the earth were one mess mess this is the this is the trans as it is and then we tore them apart that is a better translation too as I told you it's something you swing together and then you tore them apart so listen to this People who live in the time of Muhammad, did they see the Big Bang? No. Okay, people who live in the time of Muhammad, did they see that the heaven and the earth are separated? No. How how you see that? I mean, this is stupid. So, because Muhammad is a foolish man, he thinks that the heaven above is always above, is separated from the earth. This is why Muhammad in the Quran he says that the earth is a roof and this roof Allah he left up and even Allah is holding the roof from falling in the top of us I saw one of you his name is Yusuf from Afghanistan he is a Christian welcome Yusuf I'm so happy to have you, my friend. God bless you. Uh, <clears throat> In chapter 21, verse number 32, Allah, he made the sky a protected roof. The Muslims here, they have another fraud about, I'm talking about, when I say Muslims, I'm talking about those who lies about Islam, you know, not every Muslim. They have a fraud video that the protected roof is the atmosphere. 
when the verses are speaking about that Allah, he will shoot any shaitan, he tried to go out of the earth, not the opposite. The atmosphere protect the earth from, things will come in, not things will come out. In the Quran, the sky is a protected ceiling. It's a ceiling. How the, how the sky can be a ceiling? That's mean we have a building and we build a floor and then we build a ceiling. And actually this is the, what the Quran says exactly in other verse. Let us see the verse where Allah, he says that Allah, he built actually uh, uh, let us see this one. Chapter 51, verse number 47. How Allah, he constructed the sky. It says here, بَنَيْنَاهَا بِأَيْدٍ You notice here in the translation, the word hands is gone. You remember Fifi video, where it says that Allah, he have hands? In the Muslim translation, the word hands is gone. Why? Why the Muslim they took the word hands out of the translation? Any Muslim can tell us? If the verse say in hands, why we don't the word have the word hands? If we change the translation, let us see how many of them they have. I assure you, maybe we will find one out of a 20, 30 using the true translation. Let us see if we can find the word hands. The word hands is gone. With power. The hand suddenly became with power. Why? How the word hands became power? Because that will be embarrassing. Allah, he don't build things by saying be is going to be. He built things by hands. Literally by his hands. If we go in YouTube, I'm afraid to click at the video. I found the video, but usually I click at the video looking for something. I find myself talking. Okay, hold on. I found the video, but actually this is my video, but it's okay. I mean, the video of the Sheikh is there, which we need. The verse says, Allah have hands. In the Muslim translation, they took the word hands off. Why? It's a deception. His authority, power, Allah said, Qudra. Their hands. But how do the hand of Allah look like? Don't imagine. Don't imagine, brother. Brother, stop there. Brother, I'm warning you. 
Allah has hands, but don't imagine. <laughs> I mean, look how silly this cult is. You eat it, the second you say the word hand, it's a hand. You see, it is Allah who is using our imagination and images to explain himself. So how come you say don't imagine? Because when Allah, he say hand, speaking to us using our language, that's mean he is giving us an image. For the word hand is a word present an image of something. When I say chair, right away I know how a chair look like. Even I don't see it. The word there present to me an image. Every word present an image. When you say to me, uh, uh, a camel, I know how the camel looked like. Why? Because it was an image stored, stored in my brain with the image of a camel. So what do you mean don't imagine? For this is a religion of fear. Don't ask, don't be smart. Just leave it. Leave it like do this. Do Allah have hand? As a believer, what do you say? Yes. Why do you say Allah? Haram, shirk. How you compare Allah with human? No, I didn't say Allah's hand is like human hand. Allah said he have hand. What can I say? So how come Mimi Hijab, none of the Muslims says to him, you coward liar, why you are saying Allah have no body part? And Allah have hands. So why in the verse here, the word hands disappear and suddenly became a power? The guy, he just told you, they, some they say power, etc. No, Allah, he said he have hands. He did not say he have a power. Power is Qudra. He himself in the video, he says, the word Power is a qudra, a totally different word. You must say Allah's hand represent his power, his authority. Power, Allah said qudra. Power, the word power means qudra. Or you can is qawiyun, qaharun. But the word yet you open any dictionary, Arabic dictionary. What is the meaning of yad? Literally, yad means hand. Okay. So how come the word yad here became a power? Because Islamic translation is a fraud. Open any dictionary, the sheikh he said. And look at the word hand yad suddenly the word hand became you know power and you keep trying changing translation one by one one after one and then you will find that all of them they are lying look the word hand disappeared The video we showed you of Fifi, you remember? Fifi was saying Allah have hands, you remember? So, Allah, he built the sky with his two hands. That's mean the sky is something solid. It's not the sky have something solid. The sky itself is something solid. And the sky itself is a roof. The sky itself is a roof. Saqfan marfu'a. Allah, He lift up the sky. Not only He separated the earth from the heaven, no. He lift up the roof. Where we can find that? The verse in the front of you. Chapter 52, verse number 5. Roof, and it is elevated. Even Allah, just to prove to you that the Quran teaches something very silly, that the, the, the sky is a, literally a ceiling, which is physical. Look what it says. Look like we are going to show you many verses, but you know what we can do.
who is holding the sky from falling on us? If the sky is something not physical, there is no need for it to be held by anyone. So chapter 55 verse number 5 says that the sky is elevated roof, which means the space between us, there is a space between us and between the sky. And that space is between us and the roof. And the Quran is using the word roof, not me. Then the Quran go farther and in chapter 22, verse number 65 says, Who is holding the sky from falling on you? For where? On the earth. Do you see it? I mean, how clear we can make it? Chapter 22 verse number 65 Allah is holding the sky from falling down on the earth <laughs> how silly and Allah is bragging who is holding the sky from falling on us you see here they use the word heaven but the Arabic it says the sky the word sama mean the sky the word heaven in Arabic is Jannah the reason it's called Jannah because supposedly it is unseen Sama is something we can see this is why they say genie why genie is unseen so who is holding the sky from falling on you people falling in the top of the earth Allah how many mistakes already we saw all those are chain of mistakes about the heaven about the sky about the creation everything we see everything we hear is a stupid silly one of you in the chat, he said, Christian Prince, can you be gentle? My friend, I cannot be gentle. What is stupidity? You like it, like it, you don't like it. It's up to you. Can you be gentle with liars? Lying, deceiving, deception. You know, I mean, and then you want me to be gentle. What, what gentle? So, the sky is a roof. Allah, he left up the ceiling. And we showed you the verses one by one. And now Allah bragging about he is the one who is holding the ceiling from falling down on you. Now we have one more to go. How Allah he lifted the roof. Which is the sky. If you go there is a chapter. It's called the chapter of Qaf. Qaf. Qaf is a name of a mountain. And this mountain is a mountain surrounding the earth from all direction. Read carefully with me. Again, this is chapter 50, verse number 1. From the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas that he said, in the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf, Qaf, he says, it's an azure mountain overlooking the, this world and the color of the skies from it takes from it so there is a mountain surrounding the flat earth because the Quran confirmed many times that the earth is a flat and there's a mountain surrounding the flat earth from all edges somebody a Muslim he might say well where in the Quran it says the earth have edges no problem let us go there Chapter 13, verse number 
Here the translation says by its borders. That's a lie. It says atrafaha. Change the translator. In miraculous way, you will find the word edges appearing. It's like magic when you translate, try change the translator. For all is practicing scam. This guy is saying outlying borders. Where's the word borders? Let us see. Change the translator. The game of translation. Outlying parts. Change the translator. Liars, liars will end in fire. Uh, uh, Yusuf Ali. Borders. Again. Let us see. Shaker. Court lining of its side line again. Change the translator. Sarwar borders liar. Change the translator. Sahih International borders liar. Change the translator. Karai if 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 took us all this translation to change to find the word edges how many translation I had to try before we find a little honest word Allah Describing the earth have edges, and he will make the number, or let us say those who disbelieve, smaller, smaller, smaller on them, which means the land they occupy. But the earth itself have edges. And here you will see the translation. This says, Al-Ard, and they translate the word Ard as land. But the word Ard does not mean land, mean earth. Because this is not about a piece of a place, this is about the whole earth. We can accept this is to be about a land if we are speaking about a specific place, a small place. But remember, at that time, the Muslims are the minority, and everyone else is not a Muslim. So it's the opposite. It is the Muslim who control nothing. So the earth have edges, there's a mountain surrounding the earth, Azure mountain, and this mountain called Qaf, and Allah swear by that mountain. And this mountain is blue and the sky it take its color from it. This is a pure science. Now we don't want to forget that Muhammad he have is more, you know, like more verses in the Quran which is proven to be scientifically uh, to be true. Uh, as an example, the earth is in the top of a wheel. The earth is in the top of the wheel and the wheel is in the top of a bowl and the bowl is in the top of uh, the wheel in the water, the, the bowl in carrying the wheel and the bowl in the top of a rock and under the rock, there is 4,000 cracks. Anyone remember which verses we are talking about? Who remember? Now I know the Muslim, they will say to you, this is uh, this is wrong understanding for the Quran. Everything wrong is understanding. Now they have a better understanding. You know, those who they were exist in the time of Muhammad, this is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, they have wrong understanding and Muhammad himself, he prayed to Allah to make Ibn Abbas the scholar of the nation to explain the Quran for them.
Anyone remember? No, this is a chapter of 51. This is chapter 50, verse number 1. We are talking about the wheel now. The wheel. Noon, noon. Who remember noon? Come on. You people not taking reference? Yeah, about Lewis. 4,000 cracks. Nobody remember. Hmm. Well, you know, uh, we knew that Muhammad, he, as a person, he know everything. And if not Muhammad, we will never find out that the earth is carried by a wheel. And the funny, by the way, that if we go to the interpretation of the verses, even if we go to Ibn Kathir, we will find that Ibn Kathir in Arabic have a story and Ibn Kathir in English have different translation. Why? because they try their best to hide what is in their books. So if we go in the Quran and we search for the verses we are talking about. You see, we still going to go back about the sky, how the sky is created and Mimi Hijab. But we are just taking you around in the bushes to show you how silly the Quran is. If you go to chapter 68, verse number 1, it says, Noon by the pen, which is very funny and very silly. And actually, Mimi Hijab himself explained to you the Quran, saying the Quran is a very stupid book. There's verses in the Quran, nobody knows what Allah, what Allah meant, and nobody should know actually what they meant, because it's a silly, it's a stupid. If you go here, you will see Mimi, struggling with those verses explaining to you that if you try to explain the Quran you will get lost we are trying just to short the period listen here what he will say and try not to laugh You have justified to yourself taking an ambiguous verse and, and, and saying that it means this. Ambiguous verse. Have you ever heard of a believer he say that there is a verse in this book is ambiguous? If I say that, they will be offended. Why this verse is, I mean, isn't it the Quran sent to guide you? when there are these other alternate linguistic alternatives and exegetical alternatives so why are we not within our rights to choose unscientific interpretations and say this is what it means well in fact this whole idea of using ambiguous verses which have more than one interpretation and running with it is exactly the opposite exactly the opposite of what Allah witness my friends witness muslims witness atheists witness whatever you are Quran is ambiguous Quran. The Quran is ambiguous potato. But the Quran is a book sent from Allah to tell you how he created the earth and the heaven, how he made everything. But we come to the conclusion that this is ambiguous Quran. What do you think? The ambiguous Quran, he is saying to them, okay, how you can understand this verse? Okay, the scholars before, they have their own understanding, and you are saying, okay, we will not accept their understanding at that time because they were short of knowledge. But that's mean. You are playing the same game.
supposedly Mimi Hijab trying to be honest here. He's trying. He's trying to be ambiguous honest. So we have ambiguous Quran, and this ambiguous Quran, which nobody can understand, and then we try to make this ambiguous Quran Big Bang Theory. And that will make the Big Bang Theory ambiguous Big Bang Theory. And that will make the Muslims who come with their own ideas or interpretation ambiguous Muslims. I mean, this is religion of ambiguous. How in the world a believer he say that his book is ambiguous book? So everyone he will come with his own interpretation as he wish. And what make it more funny? The Quran claim that Allah explained the Quran. And he speak specifically about the creation of everything. If we go to in the ambiguous, I want from people from now on, please remember what Mimi Hijab, this is Mimi Hijab saying, not me. From now on, we say the ambiguous Quran. So if we go here, we will find that the Quran saying that Allah, he made everything clear for us he explained everything in details i mean how in the world we made everything for you clear in details and then we have millions of interpretation for the same details and none of them sign with the other one and then we have, after 1,400 years, a guy with a, you know, his hair is going in all direction, saying to us that this book is ambiguous book. So the Quran is ambiguous book, cannot be the book of guidance. And actually, if we read the same chapter, this is chapter 17, verse number 12, you will die laughing if you concentrate with me. Anyone notice the mistake? Anyone? Who noticed the mistake here? And we have appointed the night and the day as two signs. <laughs> then we blurred the sign of the night and we made the sign of the day. This is false translation. It doesn't say blurred. It says, فَمَحَوْنَا We erase. So Allah, He erased the, the night by the day. But is that true? Is that true? In fact, this is false. The day never been erased. There's always day. And there's always night. Depend where are you located in the earth. If we are talking about us being in the earth. Yeah, change the translator, you will see the word blurred will become something else as usual. You know, it's a miraculous thing, as I told you. See, look. Uh... We have appointed the night and the day as two sign. Okay. And we made the dark the sign of the night while we have the made this, the, the, the sign of the day. Okay. And we may seek bounty from your what so where is the word that says erase? Where is the word? It's gone. The word erase that the day erasing the night is gone. Change the translator again. Let us go to Big Tal. When I say to you, this is this is a joke. We appoint the night and the day two portents. Then we made the dark the portent of the night, and we make the the portent of the day side giving that you may seek bounty. What is that? 
Where is the word for Mahauna? Change the translator again. I mean, we have to keep playing this game. Let us see. This guy, his name is Ahmad Ali. Ah, finally, we efface the sign of the night. Look, how come in the other translation nobody's saying that? How come the word we efface is gone in all other translation? Do you see people why you cannot learn Islam from translation? And do you see why you cannot learn Islam from even Christians who they are teaching you about Islam, but you don't know Arabic? Because if I am an American born or English born, Australian born, and I am against Islam, explain to you Islam is false. How I can do that? I have to go by the translation. Whatever the translation is saying, I have to go with it. Do you see what happened? You have a lockdown in your city? Okay. Good luck. So, uh, so Allah erase the night by the day. But in different verse in the Quran, Allah He claim that the earth and the day and the night they are object. When Mimi Hijab spoke about that this is ambiguous book. We need to ask ourselves what made him say so. He, he just said that there is many interpretation. There is many meaning. We do not know which one. Everyone come with his own interpretation. But he will say something to you very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to do in the Quran. Minhu ayatun muhkamatun hunna ummul kitab wa ukhar mutashabihat. That there this chapter 3 verse 7 it says that this book has uh, verses which are foundational and others which are ambiguous. For those people who have swerving in their hearts or some kind of deviance in their hearts, they will choose, yes, those interpretations that they uh, which are ambiguous. Look at this stupid book. Allah, he made Quran. And this Quran have ambiguous verses. And those who follow, those interpretation, they are the bad one. But how somebody, he is a Muslim. Following what the Quran is saying, that make him a bad Muslim. Do you see the stupidity? If you follow the Quran, you are following an ambiguous book. Some of the Quran is clear. I don't I wonder which one, where, how, when. If we ask this kid, which one Allah created first? The trees or the stars? I will give him a century to answer, because he will not dare to answer. Which one Allah created first? Or let us say, make it clear. Which one Allah he finished first, the earth or the heaven? Let us make it more clear because he might say I'm slow. Which one he finished first? He created the mountain first or the stars? I mean, how simple we can make it more than this. The Quran contradicts itself all over the Quran. And now he, they are saying to us, we have ambiguous book, which nobody knows what this book is saying because it's a stupid book. You see, the second you say this ambiguous, Muhammad, he is making excuse. He do not know what he is saying. He is copying it from the book of Waraq ibn Nufal. And he do not know what the book of Waraq ibn Nufal is saying. He cannot explain it. It's like somebody teaching mathematics, but he is reading what is in a book in front of him, but he don't understand the word what is there. And this is why Muhammad, he come with this excuse that this is, that this Quran have ambiguous verses and those who they are bad, follow them. But why Allah sending you verses claiming that if you follow them, you are a bad person? Isn't it the good Muslim is the one who follow the Quran? 
how a poor Muslim who do not even speak Arabic he will know what is the correct mean of those verses and then Allah accuse you if you follow the interpretation of those verses which Allah don't like <laughs> that make you a bad person have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this but those who are twisted of mind look for verses metaphorical what metaphorical where it says the word metaphorical even Mimi Hijab when he read the verse he did not use that word see they are adding words seeking division and giving them interpretation of their own but none knows their meaning except Allah okay hold on so the Quran saying to us none knows what the Quran mean save Allah so how this is a book was sent as a guide for mankind I will send you a book today and this book to explain to you about Allah and those who have bad heart they will follow interpretation of the book because this book is meant not to be understood take it as it is just say I believe in Allah and never try to explain it and if you try to explain it that will make you a bad person and then he says nobody knows what they mean save Allah and those who they are stepped in knowledge affirm they say we believe which mean they don't still know they just say we believe if you want to be a scar in Islam is not you knowing it's you saying I believe that's it what kind of religion this religion is So after listening to Mimi Hijab all this time, what we learn nothing. He's just saying you, you can't explain those verses. But how come we can explain them? I mean, why? The verse is very simple. It says that the earth and the heaven they used to be together and Allah separated them. What making it hard to understand? Why it became impossible mission? I mean, even this simple verse need all this drama. So if this verse, nobody can explain it. So why Allah saying to us such a thing? I mean, what the, what the point of this? The earth and the heaven they use. And not only that, he says, don't the disbelievers see? See? This is something we see. So it is something we see or we don't see. So after all this video, if you watch it to the end, he will come to you with the conclusion that nobody knows what this means, those of the Quran mean. Don't even try. Quran is a stupid book. But if we focus a little bit in the verses, the verses are the most stupid verses ever. For the earth is not separated from the heaven. Secondly, it is something obviously we see, not something happened in the past. And the Big Bang is not something we see. Number three, uh, the earth and the heaven they use be swung together and then we tore them apart. That is stupid. We are not. We are part of the space. We are not out of the space. Anyone here believe that we are out of the space? Anyone? Last time I check, we are part of the space, not the opposite. Do you see this earth? This earth is a little tiny piece of dust in the space. So when a fool he said to you that the earth and the sky are separated, he is lying to you and he is fooling you. And then the verse 
keep going with stupidity saying the following and we made from the water every living thing what this have to do with that muslims is it true that every living thing is made from water who is a muslim agree with this statement Is the genie who live in the earth are made of water? Isn't it the Quran says that the genie are made from fire? And he created the genes from flame of fire. Do you see it? So how the other verse says Allah created every living thing from water? Isn't it the genie a living thing according to Islam? And isn't it the genie who live in the earth? And not to forget to mention the angels. Isn't it the angels are created from light? So you notice here that everything in this book is a joke. And then when this person, he tried to claim, speak, explain the Quran, speaking about the earth and the heaven, they used to be together and separated. But this is nothing to do with the creation because you are saying that they used to be together and we separate them. This is, this is not the creation or, or, or obviously both are exist already. You know what I mean? When you say that the earth and the heaven, they used to be together and we separate them, that means the earth is exist, the heaven is exist, and we just separated them. Let us go back to the verse. Again, here the translation is a stupid translation. It says, don't the believer consider? It says, see, not consider. So, don't the believer see that the heaven and the earth wear close up together? Here we go. Oh boy. What translation we found it was more accurate? We close the page. There we go. So, do the disbeliever not see that the heavens and the earth were one mass and we tore them apart? So, how this is can be the Big Bang? It says heaven and earth. So, there's heaven and there's earth. And until now, we are not tore apart. That's not, not true. We are inside the space. The space is so huge. <laughs> I mean, how we can get out of the space? Actually, we are alive because we are inside the space. If we go out of it, we will lose the light of the sun and immediately we will die. The solar system, all of it is inside the space, not only us. So we are not separated and we are not torn apart. But if you look carefully here, you know, from, from this, it says that the heaven and the earth, so there was heaven and there was earth. Now a question to the Muslims. You know that fire contains water, vapor? Oh, okay, the fire contains water, you see? But the Quran says Allah created the genie from fire. He did not say fire contain water. And uh, uh, you will notice that when he speak about the genie, he speak about a specific kind of a flame, which has its extremely hot flame. It's a flame without even gas, without like smoke.
And if you want to say everything is created from water, that have to go for everything. The second you say everything, it's everything. Isn't it the angels created from light? So is the angels are made of water? Is the sun made of water? When we say living thing, what does that mean? If we are talking about the creatures, then we have to go with the creatures, genie, human, angels, animals, bacteria. Very simple. Now, if we go in the Quran, in chapter 2, verse number 22, it says, we made the earth, the earth rest in a place. That's a false translation. It says, we, He made it a bed. Why he made it a bed? Because it's flat. So we did not make the earth for you a resting place. That's a lie. We made the earth for you a bed. And then we built the sky. And the sky is built as a canopy. And then we send down the rain from the cloud. Okay, wonderful. We will stop here. So Allah, he made the earth. And then Allah, he made the rain come. Very simple verse, nothing complicated. But if we go in the same chapter a little bit farther, Verse number 29, it says the following. He is who, and here the Quran is very silly, because if the one is talking is Allah, why Allah he say he is he, he is who? I mean, I am the one is talking and then I say he is who? Well, uh, aren't you Allah? So he it is who created for you all that on earth and he directed himself to the heaven. Hold on. First translation, first of all. In Arabic, it says, Thumma. There's a Muslim teacher, he teach Arabic to convert people to Islam. You know, like he use Arabic as a, as a purpose to bring people who want to learn Arabic to convert them to Islam. He have a video, it's called The Mean of Thumma. And then you will see in his video, he says, Thumma, speak about something happened next, but after a long period of time. Long period of time. And this is the word thumma. So who will the Khalakalakum Mafil Ordi Jamian Thumma Stawa Ila Sama Thumma? And way long after he went to the sky. Hold on. Let us change the translator for the sake of showing you the game they play. It is he who created for you that all in the earth, then he rose over toward the heavens. <whistles> Look, by changing the translator, how everything changed. The word then appear, the word he rose over toward the heaven appear. But this verse confirmed to us one thing too, that everything in the earth was finished before anything is done in the sky. Any Muslim disagree? Any Muslim disagree? That this is what the verse is saying. Everything was finished first in the earth and then Allah, he started working in the heaven. Here we have many issues. If Allah, after finishing the earth, he went up to heaven, that means he was on the earth. Do we agree? He rose over to where? People listen carefully. Allah, he rose over to where? From where to where? He is in the earth, and he was finishing the earth. 
So it is he who created for you all that on earth. This is the first stage. The second part of the verse saying, then after that, he rose over toward the heaven. But that's mean Allah was in the earth. So how the Muslim, they say to us, God cannot be inside his creation. And they say to us, how Jesus is God and yet he is inside his creation. Isn't it the flesh of Jesus is the creation of God? Here we see that Allah, he was in the earth and now he is going to heaven, inside the heaven too. So he was inside the earth as a, as a flat earth or in the top of it, if we can say. And then he went to the heaven and now he's inside the heaven. And then he made the heaven, seven heaven. People, I want you to take a screenshot. Chapter 2, verse number 29. Screenshot. Why I want you to take a screenshot? This verse confirmed to us that the earth is finished before the heaven. What is the Big Bang, Muhammadan? Everything in, in earth was created first. I mean, the verse is so clear. You want to play a game with it, you can play, but it doesn't matter who you are. Oh, I typed the word too in Arabic. Let me fix that. The number two. I want you to take a screenshot because we will show you other verse and I want you to put them together. So everything in earth is created and finished totally. And now Allah, he will start working in the heaven. What is in the heaven? Blank. Nothing. There's no stars. There's nothing. Wonderful. Then let us go to the different verse in the Quran. And compare those two together. And then you will see the comedy. Actually, before we go there, shall we go and see what the interpretation for the verse, so the Muslim, they will not say I'm making things up? You know them. This is Ibn Kathir, as you see, chapter 2, this page in the website from verse number 29 to 29. All of this for 29. Look what Ibn Kathir is saying. Allah created the earth before the heaven. Is it clear? Is it clear or not? So we have to agree that the Quran say clearly in chapter 2 verse 29, that everything is creating in or created in order. The earth created first, and everything in the earth was finished before even Allah, he touched a piece of dust in the heaven. There's nothing. So Allah created the earth before the heaven, and when he created the earth, smoke burst out of it. Ah. That explain what the verse Ibn Kathir will quote for us. And then he went up to the heaven and the heaven was a smoke. So now we knew where the smoke is coming from. So even the smoke was coming from the earth. 
which means there's no heaven, totally, zero. And even the smoke which was went up, it's coming from the earth. And let me give you the link so you can save the reference. Actually, the admin already posted. So, the Muslims agree, and those are the scars, not a bunch of kids on YouTube growing a beard, cloning themselves shakes. Yet they do not know how to read a verse in the Quran. Everything created in order. Earth is first, heaven is second. And when the Quran says, ثم استوى إلى السماء وهي دخان The Quran is speaking about, this is chapter 41, verse number 11, as you see. The Quran is speaking specifically that this smoke is coming from the earth. That is not a smoke of heaven. That is a smoke brushed out of the earth. Are we taking note? Who is bored? You see, for me, it's almost 1.28 a.m. in the morning, but I decided to go live on air and share with you good time for those who like to learn in Asia and in Indonesia so we can win as many as we can from the beautiful Muslim people to leave this stupid cult. For as you see, nothing there is even makes sense for kids. Because listen to this. If Allah, he created the earth first and there is no heaven. And then the smoke coming out of the earth is the smoke coming out. Okay, when you create something, shouldn't you create a space for it first? Okay, we create the earth. We will put the earth where? You know what I mean? In order to create something, the first thing have to be exist before the creation of that thing, a space. Do we agree? If I have no space, I mean, I'm, I was working in, in that thing where? In my garage? When Allah created the earth and there's no heaven, which means there's no space, how that can be logical? Any Muslim? But as long Ibn Kathir, uh, he mentioned chapter 41, verse number 11. <laughs> if we go there, we will find something very funny. I mean, how in the world this guy, even he mentioned that chapter? What a shame. If I am Ibn Kathir, I should hide that chapter. I will never mention it. I will try to delete it from the Quran. Chapter 41, verse number 11, is a horrible chapter for Islam. Why? Because that chapter explains something very clear to us, that the God of Islam is a fraud. If we go to this chapter, chapter 41, and read it from verse number 9, 10, you can read it from verse number 1 if you want, but the verses before, as usual, there's, they have no connection with the verses after. Here there's righteous, etc. And then suddenly he speak about the creation. Allah created the earth in two days. And then Allah, he placed mountains in the top of it. The word here, stabilizer, is a lie. Rawasi is mountains. What stabilizer? So according to Islam, Allah, first he created the earth. Second, he made the mountains, he put it in the top of the earth. And then he blessed everything, which means water, trees, grass, etc. And then, then he went up to the sky and the sky was a smoke. The smoke was coming from where? Who remember? People who remember? When the verse number 11 says, and the sky was a smoke, the smoke is coming from where? Is that a smoke from the sky? Anyone can help me? When this verse says, and the smoke, and there was a smoke in the sky, is that a smoke was exist 
previous to the existence of the earth? Who want to help me? This is coming from the earth. When Allah created the earth, supposedly, a smoke burst out of the earth. Read carefully. Allah created the earth before the heaven, and when he created the earth, we go to the other line, smoke burst out of it. Perfect. So in chapter 41, verse number 11, it confirmed what Ibn Kathir is saying, that the earth was created in total, mountains is created, water is created, trees is created, and yet the heaven was totally zero because even the smoke is not from the heaven. It is smoke brushed out of the earth. And then the last thing Allah he did, he created the sky or the heaven, and he made them seven heaven, and then he decorated them with the stars. So what the last thing Allah he finished here? He decorated the lowest heaven with lamps. The last thing. This is the last thing Allah he did. But look what happened. If we go to the front verse, like chapter 79, you will find that the order is totally different. Chapter 79, it says the following, that Allah created the heaven first. Are you more difficult to create? Or the heaven he constructed? As we said, the, the Quran teach that the, the heaven is a roof. He raised it he raised it and he made it, you know, he constructed, he made it flat too. And then uh, he created the day and the night. And after that, he made the earth flat. And after that, he made water and pasture. And after that, he made the mountains. So what was the last thing? The mountains. What was the first thing? The sky created. The sky lifted. The stars are created. And after that, the earth, he made it flat. <laughs> but this is totally the total opposite of a chapter 41 where it says totally the opposite direction. The first thing here, the last thing here was created was this is chapter 79. This is chapter 41. Compare between them. What is the first one here? In this chapter? The earth he made it in two days. The second thing he made mountains. If you if this stabilizer is 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 making you uh, confuse, just to show you, it's a mountain. It's not a stabilizer. This guy is just lying. Let us go to any other translation. Yusuf Ali. See, he said on the earth mountains, and this is under a stupid mistake in the Quran because mountains are coming from the earth, not something you place on the top of the earth. Mountains is nothing other than a pressure of the of the crust or the magma so the tectonic plates they have a pressure in the edges of the tectonic plate and they create mountains and this is why the mountains they grow the mountains they always keep growing because more pressure keep coming or mountains can be created from volcano like in hawaii hawaii as an island is expanding every year why? Because there's more magma, lava is coming from the ground. So Allah, he created the, the, the earth in two days. Allah, he put mountains is number two. Be my witness. Number two, Allah placed mountains in the top of the earth. This is number two in the creation. So what we would do with chapter 
79. Where it says the opposite. The mountains is the last thing Allah created. He created the water before it. He made the earth flat before it. He made the day and the night before it, which means the sun. He lift up the sky. He created the sky. How in the world they are trying to explain to us the, the Big Bang when this is the biggest stupid bang ever. It's called Quran. And now we understand why Mimi Hijab, he said, the Quran is ambiguous book. Actually, I should have changed the name of my video and call it the ambiguous Quran. What do you think, people? Should we call it the ambiguous Quran? I think this is a good idea. Because he himself, he mentioned that. And obviously, everything in the front of us proven to us that this is ambiguous, silly, stupid book cannot be from God. The Bible says that God is not the God of confusion. Now, let us ask you, how many of you are going to download the ambiguous Quran video? Anyone? How many of you? I mean, it's not me who used the word ambiguous. It is Mimi Hijab saying this is ambiguous verses, but that make it ambiguous Quran. And we notice that all the Quran is ambiguous, it's stupid, you know, because this is a, and the Quran says that if this book is other than, from other than Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction in it. Have you ever heard of somebody? Do not know which one he created first, yet he is God the trees or the mountains or the stars. I mean, this is very simple. So I am going to change the name of the video. And we call it the holy ambiguous Quran by Dr. Muhammad Hijab peace upon him Pray for not to. Look how beautiful the name is. The ambiguous Quran. This is why we have to be grateful for those fools who try to defend Islam because when they defend Islam, instead of defending they, they, they you know they do poo poo i mean he's trying to fix it but he make it blind this when there are these other alternative linguistic alternatives and exegetical alternatives so why are we not within our rights to choose unscientific interpretations and say this is what it means well in fact this whole idea of using ambiguous verses which have more than one interpretation and running with it is exactly the opposite exactly the opposite of what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to do in the Quran Allah the opposite he is the one he just said Allah he gave which one of them is ambiguous did Allah give you a list of the ambiguous one I mean do you see how silly how stupid the argument did Allah give you a list like this potato? He decided that this is ambiguous verse. He just that's it. He decided. But how it's ambiguous, and you have interpretation for it. 
Oh, this is ambiguous. Doesn't matter how many interpretation you give because all interpretation are stupid. So I'm very proud of Dr. Muhammad Hijab, who gave us a very clear answers for him and Yasser Qadi. There is a there is a, a, a hole in the standard narrative. Standard narrative have holes in it. This is this is how ambiguous is. Ambiguous questions, ambiguous interpretation, ambiguous answering, ambiguous uh, uh, stupidity. This is the God of Allah is ambiguous God. Actually, I got better idea. The holy ambiguous Quran by the ambiguous Allah. Because if Allah is the one who give us all the ambiguous stuff, that make Allah ambiguous God. So now we have a new name for, I don't know how many names I will change before I finish. Oh, hold on. I need to make ambiguous big A because this is a big Quran. It's Quran of Allah. We cannot just call it ambiguous like this. It have to be capital letter. Perfect. The ambiguous book. So this guy is trying his best to explain to us that the Quran is ambiguous book. Try not to explain it. So how this guy he said to David Wood, you don't how who said so? Allah have a have a, a body part. Who said so? Ah, because he have ambiguous understanding other other than other ambiguous Muslim understanding. So this religion have many ambiguous meaning and each one of you will explain it as he wish. Abraham Gill, he's saying the glorious Quran. What make it the glorious? Glorious that it is nobody understand it. I mean, how glory it is. Glorious where it says I eat in your house and you eat in your house. It's okay to eat in your mother's house. Just to give you an example of the uh, glorious Quran. I'm not going to talk about the verses where Muhammad making verses about women, they can sleep with him. I tried to be honest with you to write a verse like the Quran and I could not because simply uh, it's amazing you know I mean I don't know how to how to explain that to you and I will give you an example why nobody can write Quran like the Quran nobody Let us see. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the verse. All right, just give you an example. <clears throat> Not limited. I want you to read with me the one who was saying the glorious Quran. Chapter 24, verse number 61 and again remember this is an example of the ambiguous silly book there is no problem uh, on the blind nor uh, a restriction or on the lame nor any restriction on the sick nor on yourself if you eat at your houses like what 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 
if the translation is not good for you, I will change it for you. Allah, he went to his office. And now today he decided to deliver for us a new rules. Smart rules, a genius rules. Okay, Allah, tell us what, what, what is the rule? It is no fault in the blind, nor in the one born lame, like if you cannot walk correctly, nor in the afflicted with illness, nor in yourself that you should eat in your own houses. <laughs> that is deep. Where is the guy who told me the glorious Quran? I mean, Allah, he created, uh, nobody knows that before. You can eat in your home and there's no sin in that? It is not sin to eat in your home. If you are blind, okay. If you cannot walk correctly, uh-huh. If you are ill, uh-huh. Or yourself, but so that means there's nobody left. So why you are counting L and S, just say all of you. And at that time, people, they used to eat where? In the restaurant? They go to McDonald's? This is God is talking? And is the drama stopped? No. Or the houses of your fathers, or your mothers, or your brothers, or your sister, or your father brothers, or your father sisters, or your mother brothers, or your mother sisters, or in the house which the key are in your position. Like what? If I work in the hotel, I will be drinking all the beer in every room because I work in the hotel and Allah gave me license. So if my neighbor, he said to me, hey, Christian, can you watch my house and water, the, water the, the plant in my house when I am in vacation? I can say, okay, I can eat all his food. This is the glorious Quran? Or this is the glorious refrigerator? What is this? Or in the house of a sincere friend. <laughs> There's no blame on you, brother. That's it. I was full all those years. Now I learned where to eat. Now I, I wish I know when I was a kid that I can eat in the house of my father. Because when I was a kid, I used to climb the fence and eat in the neighbors because I thought it's haram. It's haram to eat in the kitchen of my father. I should climb the neighbor kitchen and eat there. That is deep. And I have to agree, this is a glorious book. And as Mimi Hijab, he agree that this is ambiguous book. So guys, I will stop here. I will keep this video only for a few hours and then I will delete it. So don't waste your opportunity and delete the video sorry download the video i'm going to clean all the videos on my page almost so download them all if you did not do yet and don't ask me later where is the video where the video is gone i don't keep videos on my channel i am the last one to have a video of mine because i don't need them it's you who need them i am here for you not for me so this is a stupid book and the quran told us that this book is stupid when the Quran says if this book is other than Allah or made by other than Allah which means other than the God who the Muslim worship the pagan God you will find a lot of contradiction in it and if the Quran he set up the rule that if this is a book other than made by other than God and then we find all those silly contradictions, then Muslims cannot complain and say the book is from God. Why they don't consider the Quran? The funny, the Muslim, they say to us that the Arab, they were amazed with the Quran, but the Quran said the opposite. They don't consider the Quran. And the Quran was making a challenge, says if this is a book, 
from other than Allah, then they should find a lot of contradiction in it. That's mean one contradiction, the story is over. And this God, as you see, he don't understand the creation, how it happened. He thinks the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man. It's coming from the ribs of the women. He thinks that uh, 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 the sun set in murky water. He thinks that, that there's two seas, fresh sea and salty sea, and they never, never mix and they never, they never touch each other. Very silly, stupid book. You can't be silly more than the Quran author. I make a challenge actually for all of you to write more silly, ambiguous, as Mimi Hijab said, book than the holy, ambiguous Quran. Can you? Can you make a verse, little verse, saying, there's no problem to eat in your cousin house? You cannot. There's no problem for you to eat in the mother house. You cannot. Can you make a verse saying you cannot? I mean, I don't know what to say. You see, I am not so good in making Quran because this is ambiguous book. And look like if you are a person who make ambiguous book, that's mean you are genius. And the funny, it is me who choose, it's not me who choose the word ambiguous, it is the Muhammadan. So from now on, we will say and we will use the word ambiguous. Do we agree? If a Muslim, he says to you, why you are using the word ambiguous? Well, why you ask me? I learned it from Mimi Hijab. Mimi Hijab, he taught me something. The guy who never say inshallah. He said that ambiguous is what the Quran is. If we go to the dictionary and we search for ambiguous, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Ambiguous. Uh huh. open to more than one interpretation having a double meaning any clear or extra in, in uh, extra because uh, a choice between alternatives has not made okay so simply it says that this is very confusing book And that explains why the Muslims agree about not to agree about what the Quran is saying. And that explains why Muhammad, he says, my nation will be 73 sect, one of them will go to heaven. Which one? Because obviously there's 72 of them, they, have, they were using the ambiguous verses and they never get the correct one. So thank you for teaching me a new word about ambiguous. I, I never used it before, actually. Uh, uh, Mimi Hijab, he speaks for sure better English than mine. He made fun of me when I speak English, you remember? So now I learn from him ambiguous. I will repeat ambiguous, ambiguous Quran, ambiguous Quran, ambiguous Quran, ambiguous Quran. Yeah. If you say Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, 100 times, you go to heaven. I will do that before I go asleep so I can go to heaven before the morning. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. And I don't, uh, by the way, uh, just an idea came to my head. If you say something to your wife and your wife shouldn't like it, how you can get away from what you just said? Tell her this is ambiguous statement and has many interpretation. So please don't take the interpretation which is negative. As an example, if you say to your wife, I don't like your mother and your wife she get upset what you don't like my mother you say to her oh I said I don't like your mother but this is ambiguous verse because it have many meaning 
as an example I can say I don't like your mother but in my heart I say I don't like your mother to leave us see the whole meaning changed it's ambiguous I can say I don't like your mother and then in my heart I mean I don't like your mother to stay away from us see I can say I don't like your mother and then I say in my heart not to be with us 24 hours, seven days a week, even to stay between the middle, between me and you. Learn the trick of ambiguous. Anything looks stupid and silly and you do not want to explain it. Say, I am Allah, I am ambiguous God. I say things nobody knows what they mean, save me. And if you try to explain it to yourself, you will get dizzy and people will laugh at you. So I'm so glad that we came to the conclusion that Allah is ambiguous God. Call Zakanaik. I cannot call him. It's like what you know, Zakanaik now he's in Malaysia. He's a you know the, the guy is doing ambiguous job there. You know? When they ask uh, Zakanaik about Allah have hands, Allah have eyes, how Allah he can hear. How he hear, we don't know. Allah have eyes. How we can see, we don't know. Allah have hand. How Allah hand look like, we don't know. Wisdom. Beautiful. Ambiguous. The ambiguous God. Ambiguous book, ambiguous God, ambiguous verses. Everything in this religion, anything looks stupid, sounds stupid, they make it ambiguous to get away from it. All right. It is 2 a.m. in the morning here. It's already already 1:59. So thank you guys for being here, and I I wish you a happy ambiguous night with ambiguous dreams, and uh, ambiguous mother-in-law, and uh, take care with your ambiguous life. Have fun. Let us enjoy the ambiguous uh, terms and conditions. This is a God who put terms and conditions, but they are ambiguous. He tell us how he create things, but they are ambiguous. So why is telling us? Because he want to be ambiguous. With this, I leave you. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. I mean to that. Again, download the video as soon as it's ready because I'm going to take it down as the rest of my videos. Take care.